Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today we're in Chesterfield, Virginia. More specifically, we are off the Centralia Road corridor, and we're going to look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home features a two car garage and is situated here in a really good looking, well maintained block. Uh, as you can see, the homes are various uh, styles and we are located here on a curve. The beautiful thing about being on the curve here is we've got nice separation between this home and the home next door. They've got a privacy fence, so you get a little bit of privacy and you got a good little distance there on the right side as well. Uh, this home uh, needs very minimal TLC, uh, a little bit of power washing here on the exterior. We'll get the vinyl siding looking as good as new. We've got a nice porch here, you can put rocking chairs out and enjoy a nice cool afternoon. All right, let's go on in and take a look. One thing I was really impressed about on this home was we have a nice big foyer. As you can see, this is a pretty large foyer. We've got chair rail here and of course beautiful wood floors. If you like to have some formal space in your home, uh, this is a formal living room here, complete with crown molding. They did some nice upgrades overall in this home, and I'm going to point a few of them out to you as we go through. Here in the formal dining room, we've got chair rail and also crown molding once again. Nice and open to that foyer. We're going to transition here to our kitchen. Our kitchen features nice 42 inch maple cabinets, go all the way to the ceiling, double bowl sink, black appliances do convey. This countertop is a green high definition for mica and um, our black refrigerator and actually all the appliances are in place so you wouldn't have to really do anything as far as appliances in this home straight ahead this is where your dinette would go and our very generous pantry is here as well continuing on we have our powder room with a pedestal sink, nice little window so you can look out the backyard as you ponder life on the throne. And our coat closet here to the right, we have our two car garage. In our garage, we do have an opener, a pedestrian door there to the side of the home. And there is an irrigation controller right there as well. We heat water with electric water heater. It is wired for an alarm system as you can see. And we're going to transition now into our living room. Excuse me, actually, this is our family room. And we do have a gas log fireplace. And of course, our foyer and our front door, you can see straight through. So we do have formal space and yet an open floor plan, which is kind of nice to have in the same home. Here in the back, we've got a nice sized deck. We don't have a completely cleared lot. A lot of people like that because it does offer a little buffer with some privacy between this home and the home directly behind us. Uh, as you can see, once again, we do need that power washing, but that's no big deal. We do have a low maintenance exterior, which means minimal painted surfaces. This home does have a two zone heating and air system, which is good because it allows you to cool, heat and cool up and down independently, which is nice, nice touch. Okay, we've got a rear staircase. A lot of people like that. A lot of people don't like to have a staircase right at the front door. So this is a nice variation. Here to the right, we're gonna start with our first bedroom. I believe our batteries are dead on the smoke detectors. You're gonna hear a high pitched sound here as we go through the rest of the second floor. I just wanted to give you an idea of what that noise was. Got good light that comes into this room. The carpet is probably uh, it's showing signs of wear, so I'd probably go ahead and replace it, but um, it's definitely not mandatory to do so. Really good looking hall bath here. They winterize these homes when they are bank and government owned, and therefore that's why you see the, the lid there on the ground. We do have a nice, nice shower head there in place. Okay, we're gonna go straight back, and then we're gonna wake, work our way back up to the master. In this floor plan, we do often see a bedroom that's over the garage, and usually it's a really good sized bedroom. I've seen a number of people use this as a second floor den, a woman cave, home office, 
number of different ways you can use it if you did not need it as a bedroom. We've got a really big linen closet there directly across from our very large laundry room. We can get some good storage in there. Okay, this is bedroom number three. Pretty straightforward. And now we're gonna have our master. We've got a really good sized master. Please notice the vaulted ceilings there. Gives it the appearance of being larger than it really is. The other thing I wanted to mention was we do have a closet that is actually in the bathroom. And what that does is it frees up an extra wall. So you've got one, two, three walls that you could potentially use as a bed wall. And if you had a closet in the bedroom, you would not be able to have that kind of flexibility. Some people really like it, obviously. Most people, after they take a shower or take a bath, oh, I guess I'll be, re be, be replacing that one. Most people, after they take a shower or a bath, typically they'll get dressed. And so it's really convenient to have your closet right here as part of the bathroom. So that's a really neat feature. In addition to the really nice two or three person tub there in the corner, that's a really big tub. Okay, that's gonna do it for this one. If you have any questions for me, my name is Max Williams, I'd be happy to help. Please be sure to like my page and to subscribe. On Facebook, I'm Richmond Area Foreclosures. On YouTube, I can be found under my name, Max Williams. Also, rates are getting ready to go up. They forecast the Fed is getting ready to raise rates. That means every house that someone finances will be more expensive on a monthly basis. So you wanna go ahead, make your move. Now, even if you're not ready to buy right now, still give me a call. I'll walk you through the steps that we need to take early on in the process to make sure you're ready to go and can get a great, great deal like this one. Max Williams, 402-7788. I can be reached on the web, richmondhouseinfo.com. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.